Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. As always, when I start off the video by saying thank you to all the subscribers, all the viewers, all the supporters on the channel, showing the channel so much support, immensely appreciate it. If you guys do like the content, if you guys do like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. Today, just quickly wanted to dive into my account page here and show you guys exactly what I'm doing with regards to holding cash in the portfolio. This has been a common question in the comment threads talking about what proportion of a portfolio should be held in cash. That is money that's able to be used with buying power, jumping into day trades, swing trades, or adding to buy and hold positions. What proportion is ideal? Knowing that if you do have cash in the portfolio, but you're not using it, there's an opportunity cost to that. It's simply uh, uh, making no rate of uh, interest, no rate of return on your money. It's simply sitting there, and with inflation, it's actually losing value over time. So for my portfolio, as you can see here, the account page has a very nice overview of exactly what I'm doing with regards to cash. So the portfolio value up top there, you can see 144, 79, 79. And then in the middle there with the circle, you can see kind of the proportion I have in cash. Typically, I like to try to keep about 20% of the portfolio in cash. Again, that is money that can be easily used for day trades, swing trades, as well as jumping into more longer term buy and hold positions. If a particular stock is pulling back, and I think it's a good buying opportunity. I have that cash available to quickly do that. And I don't necessarily have to worry about selling off position in a very short amount of time to get that cash to divert to another type of investment or another stock. I don't have to do that if I have some cash in the portfolio. So this is what I like to do with my portfolio, about 20% or so. I also think there's going to be a correction at some point in the stock market. I think it's probably going to be in 2018. But again, you can't really uh, prognosticate with any great clarity with regards to what the market is going to do. If that was able to be done, essentially everybody would be doing the same thing and you would have very wild swings in the market, which typically doesn't happen. Right now in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, you're seeing that because people are kind of doing all of the same thing. And when people do that, if everybody's buying, the price of a particular commodity like Bitcoin will go up through the roof, which it has. And then when people are selling, everybody starts selling and it starts crashing down and you'll have these tremendous wild swings in the price of uh, whatever particular thing is being bought and sold. With cryptocurrencies, you can see that with Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin lost like 40% of its value, and now it's up another 30% up and down. I put out a few videos about my red coin uh, holdings, and that is another coin that is a perfect example of this type of thing I'm talking about. Very wild swings in the price of red coin. I think the rate of return on my investment is something crazy like 25,000%. And I'll kind of do a video about that. I know a few viewers wanted to know exactly what kind of money I was making with that particular portfolio. But uh, getting back to this point here, I keep about 20%. Again, I think there's going to be a pullback in 2018. And it's also very nice to have that money available for getting into positions, day trades, swing trades, as well as adding to buy and hold positions. And I also want to go to the bottom here to touch on another issue with pattern day trading. You can see on the bottom here, day trade zero. And then there's four circles that are open. Again, this is on the account page. And this is a great way of making sure that you do not get labeled as a pattern day trader. If we click on day trade settings here, we can click on learn more about day trading. And this will go very uh, nicely through what exactly is a day trade and what it means to be a pattern day trader. I know a lot of new viewers on the channel were mentioning, or at least a few new viewers on the channel were mentioning that, it, that they have been labeled as pattern day traders and wondering why that was happening. So if you kind of go through this tutorial here, it kind of goes through what a day trade is. Uh, this is the short version. There's a much more expansive uh, version if you keep clicking through the uh, menus here. And then also there's a help section that has a very nice overview of how day trades are counted, what a day trade is, and why that's important. But if you see on this screen here, you can see pattern day trading. And you can see if you make four day trades within the five day trading period, you're marked as a pattern day trader. And again, you can keep going through all the menus here. The key point is that you can't do more than four trades in a five day trading period if you have less than $25,000. If you have more than $25,000, no problem. You can do as many day trades as you want. You can do 1,000 per day if, that was, is that, if that's what you want to do. But if you have less than $25,000, 
you can only do three. If you do four, you're going to be labeled as a pattern day trader. But the nice part about the portfolio is, is that if you click this button here, and now if we go back, you can see on that last circle, there's a lock screen. It's now preventing you from doing that fourth day trade, which if you forget about that and you're trying to get out of a day trade, it can be quite annoying, but it's also going to prevent you from being labeled as a pattern day trader. So I'd encourage you guys to kind of go through that, go through the day trade settings. I would keep that pattern day trader protection on. Even if you don't day trade, if you have less than $25,000, just to make sure that you do not get counted as a pattern day trader. Again, it's a little bit more sophisticated. If you go through all of the menus, uh, how they count day trades is a little bit different than simply buying and selling a stock. If you're doing a lot of complex trades, you can actually get two day trades with one sell. So you got to take that into consideration when you're talking about day trading and thinking about doing day trades. So again, just quickly wanted to go through the portfolio here, giving you guys an uh, idea of what I hold in cash versus stocks. Again, this is maybe not the most ideal thing to do. There is an opportunity cost for holding cash in the portfolio without investing it, but also very good if you want to jump into day trades, swing trades, and add to buy and hold positions as I do. So let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios with regards to cash. Very interested to hear if you do, like I do, have a pretty significant portion of your portfolio in cash, or do you simply invest all of the money and then try to sell off and jump into other stocks when you see opportunities? Either way, let me know. And not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a question about this video or other videos, please let me know down in the comment thread down below, and I'll try to do the best to get back to you as quickly as I can. So yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.